Hello and welcome to my channel, Luna the Moon Tarot. This reading is from my dear Aquarius for the month of January. What is going to happen in their love life? The card that you see kept in front of you, that is the sigil uh, for the month of January for you lovely people, dear Aquarius. Just keep it uh, on your workstation or in your wallet. Uh, it says spirit heavenly assistance from your angels and guides. So you are being, uh, you know, uh, you are being protected from your angels and guides and uh, you are being heavily assisted through them. So draw the sigil and keep it along with you on your office uh, workstation or probably uh, on your bedside or in your wallet. You know, this is for the month of January for my dear Aquarians. All right, let's see what is there in your love life for the month of January 2022. What is there in the love life for the month of January 2022 in the life of my dear Aquarians? What is it that is going to happen in the month of January in the life of Aquarians? Calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmations and visual visualization help bring you together. I feel that you guys are literally manifesting a soulmate in your life right now, dear Aquarians. And you are literally uh, visualizing what is it that you want in your partner, what is it that, how do you want your partner to be. And you're literally writing affirmations, journaling and visualizing right now. Right, manifesting them in your life right now. Right, let's see what does the card says. Either the person you want to be connected with, you're calling them in, or is it uh, that you are going to meet someone or the person that you are with? All right, let's see. Give me three cards for my dear Aquarians for their love life. First, between the last 10 days, what do they, what are they going through? What are their feelings towards their partners in the month of January? First 10 days of January, 7 of Wands, middle 10 days and last 10 days. What are they feeling in the month of January towards their partner? 9 of Wands. One more card, please, for the last 10 days of January, please. What are they feeling? This is for my dear friends. All right. What are they feeling towards their partner in the month of January? What are they feeling towards their partner in the month of January, please? Only one card. What are they feeling towards their partner in the month of January? Please give me one card. This is for my dear queries. Okay. First 10 days of January, I see 7 of Wands. Middle 10 days, I see 9 of Wands. And then in last 10 days, I see 10 of Swords. The bottom of the deck, I see the Devil Energy. And the Strength. And 3 of Pentacles. I somehow feel, uh, dear Aquarians, that you are kind of obsessed with your person. Uh, right now, I mean, in your recent past, you have been quite obsessed with your person. You have been playing around in a in a negative way uh, with them, or probably you are kind of become uh, the person that you're dealing with can also be a Leo here. Also, I feel that you are thinking the pros and cons of getting into a relationship, or if you are in a relationship already, then you are kind of uh, you know weighing your options you know kind of reflecting and seeing whether this uh, relationship 
or uh, you know uh, is going to be good for me or bad for me i see uh, you are either getting addicted to something or you're using substance uh, nowadays a lot getting into uh, drinking you know getting into substance abuse maybe drinking or smoking uh, a lot probably you're getting addicted to sex a lot you know changing partners and all or i feel that you're becoming very obsessed with the situation that you have in hand with your person right i also see in the first 10 days of uh, january you are kind of in your own usual self you are in your comfort zone and you are denying you know i see that you know there are challenges that are being thrown or there are uh, things that are being thrown on uh, or you know towards you but then you're denying you're not looking at them you're totally ignoring them right and you are kind of in your own uh, thought process you are in your own uh, you know uh, you're thinking and you're taking things uh, the way you want to you're not listening to anybody in the first 10 days and i somehow feel that there are challenges that are being thrown there are some conflicts also that are that are uh, coming towards your way but then you you are not facing them you're turning your back towards them you're not facing them in the first 10 days probably you uh you know you uh you uh, probably your person and you are kind of uh, right now in a in a uh, fight or probably there is some kind of misunderstandings that you're going through and you're kind of running away you don't want to face those challenges that are being thrown at you from your partner right and then in the middle 10 days i see nine of wands i feel that you are kind of in a stuck energy you are being uh, you know you kind of stuck you you have actually kept yourself behind a fence behind a wall you have built a wall and i feel that uh, you have been hurt a lot because of which you are being very defensive right now towards you from uh, towards your partner you're being very defensive probably there is something that happened between you and your person and all of a sudden you have become very defensive when it uh, when it comes to uh, your partner probably you know so there is something that has happened because all of a sudden you have you know you have taken a little uh you have taken a step back and you are kind of protecting yourself now, right uh from your person and then in the last 10 days i see 10 of swords again it, it is a stuck energy that i feel it's it's like you're waiting for something you're waiting on the horizon for something to happen some decision to come somebody to come and save you or help you out i see this devil energy as well uh probably if it no okay this is not your energy i feel this is your person's energy they are quite obsessed you know they are quite obsessed with something probably they are cheating you cheat or probably backstabbing you or probably <clears throat> even if they are in a relationship with you they are with other people and i think this devil energy is for them right and that is the reason that now you have you know you feel kind of stuck and you don't know which direction to go few of few people are also i feel that few of few people may also be married here that is the reason that you feel that you are stuck but your defenses are up and you are manifesting that you know that uh, you are manifesting for somebody to come in your life and save you and you are manifesting a love which is going to make you feel complete and not cheated or betrayed somebody who will take care of you let's see what is your uh, person's energy here this is from my dear aquarians what is your person's energy in the month of january give me three cards what is your person's energy give me three cards please what is your person's energy three cards first middle and last 10 days what is your person's energy again right i was right so this person definitely has options you know apart from you this person definitely has options right and they are choosing in between options and uh uh, apart from you they definitely have many other options probably this person that you're dealing with 
has some commitment issues and they can't stick around with one person and you know about that but you are still sticking around because you feel stuck here right and then i see the chariot okay in the middle ten, uh, in the middle and uh, in the last 10 days uh, i see eight of wands and then the chariot okay so sorry my camera just hmm. all right let me just adjust my camera here that was so embarrassing guys <laughs> all right okay i hope this is good now hmm. so uh in the uh, middle uh 10 days of january i see eight of wands and then in last 10 days i see the chariot the bottom of the deck i see magician i see um, okay nine of wands magician and eight of pentacles i feel that uh you know i feel somehow dear uh equivalence your person has been working really hard when it comes to their job they have been working very hard uh in recent uh in uh, recent past and i feel that uh this nine of wands because i see this energy uh here as well right i feel that they are also guarded they are also guarded and even they have their walls up high in recent past and they are manifesting something in their life i somehow feel that even they are manifesting a good relationship in their life that love in their life they are also guarded and they are working really hard either they are manifesting money abundance financial growth or a job in their life but they are also manifesting something in their life right probably this relationship to improve or something like that because i somehow feel that you guys are going through a lot of trauma both of you and especially i feel that uh mostly uh you know people you guys are married and uh the relationship is not going pretty well however in the first 10 days again i see this person has a lot many choices and they are kind of choosing in between those choice choices it can be also it this can also mean that they have choices in their job you know probably some offers that has come in in their life you know and then in middle 10 days i see eight of bonds there's a lot of back and forth communication that is coming or happening between you and your person that is why you are being very defensive as well in the middle 10 days so there are a lot of arguments that are happening heart to heart conversations can also take place but you've been very defensive right now and uh whatever you guys are discussing you are still not on the same page however in the last 10 days i see the chariot there is some kind of direction that your person is arriving on right there is some kind of direction that their person is arriving on probably there is some kind of uh, journey that they uh, travel that they were they were uh, they were going to you know some travel that they were doing and they came back to home to you or there is some kind of direction that they have arrived on you know for this particular relationship let's see what the angels have to say this is from my dear equations for the month of January. Please give me a card. This is for no. Bottom of the deck says abundance. I feel somehow, dear Aquarians, that you are going to get abundance in your love pretty soon because you are manifesting love and a soulmate connection in your life. But then for this person, the universe is saying no. Because I see a lot of choice. I see a devil energy. So I guess you also know that this person is not right for you. This person is not right for you. Let's see what are uh, the Aquarians. What are the messages? You should know that your person haven't told you yet. I feel that probably even if they are in love with you. They are still not able to. You know get a hold on their sex life you know probably they are looking out every now and then 
Let's see what are, what are the messages that my friends should know. Let's make a fresh start, right? So by in the, in the month of January, because I see there's a lot of turmoil that you guys have gone through. So I think your person wants to tell you, let's go ahead and make a fresh start. This is for my dear Aquarius for the month of January 2022. Please give me more messages from that person. Two more cards, please. I keep looking at your picture. You complete me. At the bottom of the deck, I see I can't think straight. So I somehow feel that they know that they, their addiction is bad. Right? They they know that their addiction is bad, bad. And they want to work on it, but they fail every time. right so that's about it my dear Aquarians. thank you so much for tuning in any cross watchers please do like share subscribe my channel uh also uh in case if you are looking for a personal reading i'm open for a personal reading do hit me up on instagram the link is in the description below thank you so much for tuning in uh all you lovely people take care bye bye and good night